They have been looking for the sponsors of Gen Z. They have been looking for the leader of Gen Z. Can I tell you who the leader is? Mm -hmm. Can I break to you the news? Mm -hmm. The leader of uh, Eric Omondi and Gen Z and Mandamano and the demonstration and the revolution is with Guys, hope you're doing great. You're right here at Joma Kenyatta International Arrival. Natkona, the president of comedy, Baba Kaila, CEO Sisi Kwa Sisi. I'm a land. Uh, to now, I'll be land be different, sana. Wearing white gown and so rice. Shongele she kwaje. Because I'm a shukuru mungu. Nimerudi. Kwa chumeenda matanga kidogo ba chumemaliza. So we are back in the city. Na maisha sasa yendele. Yes. Umeland ukiwa different sana. Tujakuzoea mm. hivi. Maybe tell us why you are wearing a white gown and also a mm. I'm wearing a white gown and carrying a white dove for two reasons. First because everything happening in Kenya now is very spiritual. It is not physical. And it's something that I spoke about for the past two years. It has come to pass. And I think I have the moral authority to speak again on what could or will happen in the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's happening in the country is very spiritual. And truly I told you that the Kenyan parliament must be demolished and a new parliament must be built. Maybe in Upper Hill. Na ipigwe kala ya white. Yo building ilibildiwa na wazungu. Ukingia ukundani utaona signs, sijuiz naka Freemasons. Ukiwa MP ukingia pale, wilona walivote yes. Yeah? Kitu common sense. Walivote yes. Saizi wanaomba msama. Ukiwaliza watakuambia sijui, I'm sorry. What Gen Z did by entering the parliament was very spiritual. Wakakaku wakiti ya wetangula. Wakachukua ile scepter. It is a sign of authority. It means that the power moved from the parliament and the speaker to the people. When they went and sat on that chair and took that scepter and that gown, it means that the power moved from the president, from the speaker, from the chief justice, and now the power is with the people. And I want to call upon the president of the Republic of Kenya, President William Samoe Ruto. This is what this is what I'm carrying in my hands is a sign of peace. I come in peace, we come in peace, but we have a message. We bear a message. They have been looking for the sponsors of Gen Z. They have been looking for the leader of Gen Z. Can I tell you who the leader is? Mm -hmm. Can I break to you the news? The leader of uh, Eric Omondi and Gen Z and Mandamano and the demonstration and the revolution is William Samoe Ruto. The sponsor of the Gen Z, Jumen Taftasana, is the president William Samoe Ruto. He's the one who is supporting, fueling, sponsoring. Every time he does a press statement, he's sponsoring Gen Zs. His actions, his words, are fueling anger. So he's the leader. And alianzisha. I want to call upon the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoe Ruto, to first start by dissolving the government. It's unfortunate he doesn't have the power to dissolve the parliament, constitutionally change. But he has the power to dissolve the government. Kibaki did it in 2007. Kibaki fired all ministers, fired all PSs, and started afresh. I'm calling upon the president to dissolve the cabinet, to fire the cabinet and PSs and heads of parastatals, all of them. And then, on Thursday, to name the state house. Now, in the state house, tafuta nguya white, tafuta ndegea white, tafuta flag. After the president fires all the cabinet secretaries, we will go and talk to the president. Because we want the 
the government of William Samuel Ruto to be the government of the people, by the people, for the people. The ministers in the government should be the ministers of the people, by the people, for the people. Eric, talking of going uh, to State House on Thursday, mm -hmm. when Jazote is at State House, I don't know how we're going to manage to be there. He will allow also, us. And also, in the comment section, GNC from different counties, Wakeuliza, how are they going to come here, Watafikaje, Nairobi, because they want to be part of it? Uh, the president will allow us to meomba. Sini meomba publicly. To my pen time, to my request. Now, to my say, the guest will be three, three hundred. There'll be one hundred. Mamambogas in white, kama yangu. 100 border borders in white, kama yangu. And 100 youths in white, kama yangu. In fact, now there's a 100 PWDs, people with disability. So it'll be 400. Ata tukipewa chai tutakuja. Eh, tunakuja na uzuri. So you want to have a talk with our friends? A talk face to face. Not on Twitter, not on TV, not a press statement. I want, we want to talk to the president. I want to talk to the president and tell him, uh, Your Excellency, sir. Mm. No, our, our, our fire is here. Sahi. Eh, sahi. Uh, sympathy, the president. Uh -huh. Now, advise our, 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 our fire before Thursday. Mm -hmm. So that we can now uh, we can now have a talk. Mm -hmm. um, Eric, mm -hmm. we have state house in a pose a great you know, risk for our team. So, kuna any form of protection in your watu A partner. Kwa tuna flag, itakuwa very peaceful. Itakuwa very peaceful. Hata ni bebu kupigia etumbi ya jachukua simu yangu. So, you ndo kitu nafanya different this yes. time na machi yako? Yeah, we are telling the president and the government, the time, mm -hmm. the people. Tutafika hapa, tufanya hivi, mm -hmm. unangaliwa. Asi ambush. Asi ambush, mm -hmm. ni 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. hey. The agency pili kwa peaceful, but kulikuwa na mbao. Maybe you can't leo na kesho. Wednesday is late. Tutapanga leo na kesho. Uh, out of out of respect, we will give an, we will give names of a hundred mamambogas. We'll give names of a hundred border borders. We'll give names of 100 people with disability. We'll give names of 100 youth. Your list is the Ata When you say that, you say that. Yeah? You say that. You say that. president. You say that. And Eric, people are asking if you're a prophet. There is something that you said last year, I think, to Kianza. And it happened this year when you were on the street. You were talking about people going to the street. Are you a prophet? You have to do I think I have... May God protect me. I think I'm the only Kenyan who has the moral authority to say it in broad daylight that what is happening today, it is Eric Omondi who started it consistently every month, every week for the past two years. The evidence is there. Everything we said is what's happening now. We talked about Finance Bill 2023 and we said Vijana siku moja watashikana. And people say the Kenya cannot. And it's the same thing happening right now, Trudy. Unona eklipi na wetna sema sahi. Mutai cheza tena next month. If the president does not fire the cabinet. What happens if he doesn't fire the cabinet? Yani, yeah. what will the young people do? If he does not There'll fire no the cabinet, peace. parliament, you know, haita kuwa restructured tena. What is, you see, spiritually speaking, the power is not with the president. Yeah. Spiritually speaking, the power is not with Watangula. Spiritually speaking, the power is not with the CJ Komen. Spiritually speaking, the power is back with the people. And for the president to gain the power back, he has to gain trust. There's no public trust, there's a vote of no confidence. So the president has to first dissolve the government. When you, we were talking to you last year, you said for you to meet with the president, or rather the, the deputy president, you must talk to him. Our uh -huh. uh, letter of Mamambo, our uh -huh. letter in our water border border. Now, to begin a bow and a cars. When did I say that? Around last year. Last, last year. year. Now, the question is Has the president given you the 
green light to take these people to, to, to state house. I'm about to do our ambush. Come in here. ambush, president. <laughs> state house is a protected area. Uh -huh. You can't just go. Uh -huh. You have to seek uh -huh. permission. Uh -huh. What I've done is public. Uh -huh. I've done it on my Instagram, my Facebook, my uh -huh. Twitter. Uh -huh. So it is a, a, a letter of request. Uh -huh. Now, see notice, the polite notice. Uh, last year, we were going to get some kwamba. Last year, we were going to get some kwamba. You cannot work or meet with the president or the deputy president, not unless Akubali peleke mama boga, our two water ambao wana wana to say ka palace state house. Now, right now, we kwamba. You are going to meet with the president with these people. Nikito ambayo or maybe we may shake Akubali na our state house. What, what's your plan? Uh, the message has always been the same. President Aki campaign. Hata kusema jinzi. Alsema mama mboga na boda boda. So it is the, uh, the contract was between President Ruto and mama mboga and boda boda. Hata kusema vijana. Hata kusema our madaktari. Alisema for five, for three years alisema boda boda na mama mboga. That was the contract he signed. Uh, so I, I have sent my so invitation, my request to the president, and I've let him know that uh, I'll, I'll be coming with, with 400 people. But you know, that is his house. Plug. I was going to go Friday 11. I was going to write reply, and I was going to say, I was going to say, I was going to say, I was going Yeah? We are not, unonai. we are not forceful. We are not ambushing. I have post Nika Nika Sema, please fire the, the uh, cabinets, PSS, and uh, parastatals, and on, on, on Friday to Nakuja 11. President Aneza Aneza Sema, Kijanam Dogo, Sijaribu Kuja Pastate House, Ninumbangu, Sikuje, Minta Sema. Sita Enda! Mimi Sita Enda, Lakini Tonga Palembele, Mutantafuta to an interview in Guinea. Mimi CSC is the Lazimisha State House. I expect state house controller. The president of the machine, 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 the atafute post tatu apatie mama mboga wa tatu kwa government atafute post tatu apatie actual boda boda au watu wa boda boda wa minimum wa soma bana ni watu wa KU ni vijana wako na mapepas afanye serikali ya mama mboga ataona baraka jaiona that is what will stop what's going on in this country i hope i've answered your question so we're not ambushing anyone for the very first time ni meita media. For the very first time ni mandika kuwa peje zangu. Nika sema Friday 11, tunakuja na hawa. And of course, if he says no, don't come, what's the next move? Will you still maintain that the president now should resign? Ama, what is the next plan? What I'm telling you, is what will save our president, Dr. William Samoy Root. What I'm telling you now, what I've written on Instagram, is what will save his government. So he can do it or not do it. If he does it, the government will stay. If he, if he, if he doesn't hear it, and you are God, I'll pay a free will. A plug says you could last mention a nyama, a kamutaki, like a fish. Says you could for naive come to it. Okay, Katana, watch out now. Mimi na advice, a fire cabinet, a fire PS, a fire heads of parastatal and government officials, a dissolved government, a kutena na mama, mboga 100, boda boda 100, youth 100, people with disability 100. Kidogo hata nikenla kuongea ntaongeza hawkers, but staki kuongeza, status ni dogo. A kutena nao, itakuwa tu, ni one hour bro, 11 to 12, he's a busy man.
Mm. So Eric um, ukisema hivyo kuna kuna vitu zenye unasema unataka afanye mm. na kuna vitu zenye ashafanya mm. the changes that he had announced you know atafanya kwa cabinet yake na nini nini so you are not satisfied Asiri shafon asiri shafon What's happening our our cabinet secretary ndo 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 wale walikuwa nashika madoko marambe Corruption niko see what tunajua penye corruption niko So instead of instead of losing the entire government kuna opportunity ya the president to save the day But if he doesn't do that, he goes sour. He goes sour. He goes sour. Patting short bus. Sisi atuna ubaya. Sisi atuna vita. Eh nimevaa white, nimebeba davia white. It's a sign of peace. Tunakuja kwa upole, kwa unyenyekevu. Naomba rais wa Kenya Daktari William Samuel Ruto anikubalie nikuje na wamama na boda boda na vijana na watu wa walemavu. Eh Ijumaa saa 5 asubuhi ah Alhamisi saa 5 asubuhi mpaka saa 6 asubuhi. Yeye ako na na mambo mingi anafanya, ako busy. Atachukua time yake, kuna vitu tutamwambia. Mm. Akitaka media ikuje. Yeah, kama taki media tufunge mlango tuongee <laughs> na tuombe na tupendane. But I promise you if that happens and I leave state house at 12 on Thursday na nitoke kama hiyo imefanyika utaona vitu vitu zitanyoweka zitanyoka asante sana rais